Hello boys and girls and welcome back to lesson 6-8. Today we're going to be learning about the subtraction symbol. And before we begin our activity today, we're going to review some things that we need to know about subtraction. I know that subtracting means to take away. And when I subtract, I end up having less of something. So parents and guardians, subtraction is a very important first grade readiness skill. And today we're going to be talking about two content standards that cover subtraction in kindergarten. So our first goal for our students today is that they can represent subtraction using objects, using their fingers, and by writing out an equation. And our other goal is that they can solve subtraction word problems within 10. So they can listen to a subtraction word problem and solve it, and they can look at an equation and think of a story to go along with it. Those are our two goals for today's activity. The first thing you're going to need to play this game is a pair of dice. Now you could use numeral dice or you can use dot dice. And I had a little bit of a hard time finding these dot dice. Eventually I found one in a board game, but if you can't find one, there is another way that you can play this game without dice. If you weren't able to find any dice, then you'll have to make a number spinner like I made on this piece of paper. So I started with a circle and then I divided the circle up into different sections and I put a number in each section. So I made a circle with six sections. You can make a circle with 10 or more if you wanted more of a challenge. So to use your number spinner, you just take your spinner, a pencil and a paper clip and you flick your paper clip and that's how you'd pick your number. I put my subtraction symbol on a little card, and now I have my counters to help us play our game. Now we're gonna use about 10 counters, and if you don't have counters like these, a good replacement could be 10 pennies, or even 10 little pieces of paper. We just need 10 small objects you can find around the house that we can use for counting. So in order to play our subtraction game, we start by rolling our two dice. Okay, so it looks like I have a one and I have a four. Now for this subtraction game, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the larger number. So this time, four is the larger number. Four is larger than one. So the four has to come first. When we're doing subtraction, we are subtracting and taking away from the larger number. So we have to put four counters out on the table. One, two, three, four. And now I need to subtract using my other number. So I have to subtract one. So I'll take my subtraction card. Four take away one is how many? Four minus one equals three. And we can check our count. One, two, three. All right, let's do another example. If you don't have numeral dice and you're playing with dot dice, you can play it just like this. We roll our dice, we take a look at the numbers. I have a six and a two. I have to decide which of those two numbers is the greater number. And I can tell just by looking at it, six looks like it's larger. Six is going to come first. So it's going to be six minus two. Six minus two. So I need to put my six out on the table. One, two, three, four, five, Six. So I have my six and I have to subtract or take away two. So I'm going to take those away. Six minus two equals one, two, three, four. Six take away two equals four. So I rolled my dice. I found out which number was the larger number and put it first. And I counted out six counters and then I took away four and I had two left. So now I'm going to write down the equation that goes with that number story. So I'm going to write six minus four equals two. Each time after you finish writing out your number story, why don't you think of a word problem that could go along with that subtraction sentence? So for this one, we could say, I had six cupcakes and I gave four away and now I have two. That would be a word problem that goes with the equation six minus four equals two. Last example, and then I'm gonna let you guys get started. We take our dice and we give them a roll. All right, this time I have a three and a two. So let's see, my three is the larger number. 
and that goes first. So my number sentence is going to be 3 minus 2 equals. So let's show that with my counters. I'll show it with my three counters. 3, take away 2. Take away 1, take away 2. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. So let's go over and write that down on our note paper. Very good. So every time we roll our dice and make our subtraction story, we're going to solve it and then we're going to write our equation on our paper. Don't forget to think of a story to go with your equation. So for 3 minus 2, we might say that we saw three birds on the fence and then two flew away. And then there was only one left. So that's our subtraction game, boys and girls. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye.